Darren, you're in the season with a defeat. Was it just that lack of quality up front again and, and not being able to score that's cost you? We've spoken about all season, really. Huh. Yeah, I think that was the, the overall uh, pattern of the game. I think when I look at the first goal that went in, I thought we had more possession at that time. We were getting in the final third, we had three kicks on the edge of the box and I keep saying that the fine line between winning and losing is, is so small and I think to score goals, you know, you need that little bit more quality in the final third and just every now and again this season we've lacked that. Because you set up differently again today, you clearly respected the opposition, you did your homework, you knew what their threats were and all over the pitch you, you were competing, it was just trying to create chances and then the extension of that is obviously then trying to score. But having said that, I didn't feel that we was in any threat and uh, at times we, were, we had three up top, the majority of that game, in the end I had four up top. So. It wasn't like we we come back and sat back behind the ball and uh, there were stages of the game where they were slowing it down. But I thought overall we had good possession, we had good play and uh, they've got one or two good players. And Porter certainly can out you. Fossu playing between the lines. I thought I was disappointed with the first goal when that went in because you know you can become a little bit despondent. But having said that, we, we didn't, we kept going again and even in the second half we, we got in the final third more than what they did. So every manager is looking for it as you start to plan for next season. A goal scorer has got to be top of your list once again. Obviously, Francois has done the job for some of the season for you, but it is in, in that final third, the cutting edge that, yeah. that you need, isn't it? I think that's the, the hardest thing to get when you look at all the clubs that probably ended up finishing where we finished. It would be that problem, and that's just not this year. That's been a number of years. And as I said, we've gone through the list of goal scorers that we've had. Um, and uh, you know to get that prolific goal score, unfortunately they, they cost money. And uh, you know we've tried to speak to two or three individuals certainly in January, but unfortunately it didn't work out. But having said that, if I had to reflect overall, I think there there was a, a disappointment in January because we we carried so much momentum in the build up to the start of the season. We lost one or two, and uh, you know then we. Once that window closes, you're relying on younger players, and it's not their fault. Some players have made uh, key mistakes. You know, I can remember the ones at Luton and Doncaster and, and Portsmouth, and you know, we're a developing club where we've, we're trying to develop young players, and uh, it's my job now to do my best to make sure that the development that they've done, we reap the rewards next year, and uh, we've got to try and keep one or two. It's common knowledge, you've only got three players under contract as it stands for next season. I know you've opened negotiations with, with a fair few players now. How, how are things progressing? I think they're progressing well, but as you can imagine, uh, with being at the club that we're at, the, there's one or two agents, players, that want to keep their options open, which is understandable, but I'm not going to wait around. I don't feel I can, I don't feel I can wait. Uh, a month or you know I need a decision because they know the club they know what the club offers they know they're going to play and uh, sometimes when you're chasing that little bit extra uh, the grass ain't always greener on the other side so I will be looking for answers and uh, you know hopefully the players can respect that they'll understand that and uh, uh, but it's important to know. So what deadline will you be setting on that Darren for final answers? I've not given an exact date but I want to know ASAP because if not we've got to move on and uh, you know I've got to get one or two additions and start the season like we started uh, the start of the season and uh, make sure we carry on that momentum and I've gained a lot of experience uh, I feel you know I'm not going to lie I've made mistakes and uh, you know as part of my development as far as a football manager I've given my absolute all for this football club and uh, Last year we was in a, a very, very vulnerable position when we took over. Uh, I wish I could have swapped the seasons round as far as you know, end like we started, but unfortunately that's not happened. And, uh, we've, we've certainly gained a lot of experience together and these players, are, it's important that every single member of staff and player with the experience that we've gained, we use that for next year.